What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to be demonstrating how the iDog face lights work. I will be doing a full analysis on how the lights work and everything that goes into them on the circuit board. So the original 2005 iDog has 15 lights on the circuit board, seven red, seven green, and one blue. And I know what you're already thinking, how can you create those orange and uh, yellow colors on the circuit board when there's only red and green? Well, basically what happens is the programming, the programming on the circuit board tells the lights to shine at different frequencies so that their brightnesses are different. So it creates different wavelengths of light and basically that what that means is the red will shine slightly brighter than the green to create orange and then the green will shine slightly brighter than the red to create yellow um, and those mixes and those colors create these wavelengths that aren't normally on the board there's not a solid yellow led and there's not a solid orange led it's the two lights mixing together the same um concept goes for the mil middle led to create purple and what that does is the blue and the red will shine together to create purple. So on the 2005 original iDog, with the exception of the bottom LED, all of the outer LEDs are positive end is on the left and negative end is on the right with the red on the bottom and green on the top. This is an exception with the bottom because it is inverted and the red is on the top and the green is on the bottom with the positive end being on the right and the green on the, or not the green, and the negative end on the left. I don't know why they inverted it, probably just lack of board space. Um, I don't know if this is the case for other iDogs, because I've only really deeply examined 2005 iDogs. So if you ever do light mods with another one, just make sure which you know which end is your positive end, which end is your negative end. So on any iDog, all LEDs on the circuit board are connected to a resistor. And the reason that these resistors had to be added is because by default, the red LED is actually brighter than the green. So without the, the LEDs, the lights wouldn't be able to create the wavelengths to create yellow or orange because the red would just be too bright. It would just completely shine over the green and it wouldn't make any of those, those colors. So basically what they had to do was they had to use these resistors to suppress the light of the red LED so that these two could blend to make these colors, which are yellow and orange. So if you're ever planning on doing light modding, which I have done light modding before, and I've actually swapped these resistors out before. So like, for example, this is the light mod I did, which the white lights shine brighter than the green. But the problem with that was the white lights were in the place of green and the red lights were in place of blue. So in this case, it was the opposite. Normally red, the red light would be brighter, but in this case, the white, which was in place of green, was brighter. So I had to actually manually swap out all of the resistors on the board to make sure the lights would shine through properly. So now I'm gonna explain the deal with the middle LED. So basically, there is only one solder point, which is the positive end. And then there is three solder points for all three negative ends for all three lights. And for the middle LED, the green is on the bottom right corner, the red is on the bottom left corner, and the blue is on the top right corner. And then the top left corner is the positive end. There's no light there. For a long time, it was a big mystery how this middle LED worked, but it really isn't as hard. You don't even need a combined LED. Like for my custom light custom I did, I just took three um, like individual LEDs and like pieced them together on the board so that they're all the positive ends were touching that positive end and each one was touching its corresponding negative end to create those colors. In general, I think this was a really genius design how they were able to um, use the resistors to blend the lights to create these extra colors. It's a great way to utilize um, these LEDs rather than putting whole new ones in, that would probably be more expensive to add even more. There's already 15 in there. Um, but yeah, I think it's just really cool that they were able to get this working. And, um, now that we've discovered how these work, we can now start experimenting with light mods, which I have already done. <clears throat> and yeah, I just thought I'd clear this up with you guys. So it'd help you guys understand a little more on how this thing works. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.